Hi, welcome and welcome back to Teaching Toddler. My name is Lindsay. My name is Lindsay, and this is my son Lennox. Today, I'm going okay. to be doing his 20-month-old update. Say hi, Lennox. Can you wave hi? Hi. Say I love you. No. Um. So nice. <laughs> He's gonna just blow you kisses forever. Um. But welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do his 20 month old update and just different milestones that he is Yay. reaching. So I'm going to jump right in and get started on Lennox's 20 month old update. First, I'm going to talk about language development. His speech is developing, he's saying so many things, he enjoys talking, he basically repeats anything he says. Now it's a matter of forming sentences together. Um, he is saying up to five words together at a time. Um, he averages about doing three words together, but he just loves to talk. He always has, and it's just his like favorite thing to do. Along with speaking, um, he enjoys singing. He memorizes familiar songs, that, and he enjoys reciting books that he's familiar with. So my husband and I will go ahead and we'll read a book, and we'll pause at the end for him to say the last two words or so, and he'll say them. Um, so if it was like, see the dog run, we'll say, see the dog and then we'll pause and he'll say the word run. Um, also books that he is really into, he'll just say the whole sentence because he has it memorized. Um, he loves to read, so I truly feel like that has helped with his language development, just constantly reading to him, and it's something he's always enjoyed. Out came a baby. Bush. Where is my mother, Dad? He did not see her. Anywhere. I will go and look for her he said Dad. out of the nest he went down down, plop. down 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 plop the baby bird could fly. not fly but he could walk. walk now i will go and find my mother Dad. he said are you my mother the baby bird asked a what does the book say? Start from the beginning. Helicopters hovering. Good job. Rushmore. George had never seen anything like it. These are the faces of four great presidents. A tour guide said, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Lincoln, <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Good job. Good boy. Lennox, what word do you have? Where does that go? Good. Yes, that's car. Good boy. What word is this? Crib. Crib. Good job. Where does it go? Crib. Very good boy. Lastly, Lennox has learned the alphabet. He can recognize um, lowercase and uppercase letters. He can also sing the ABCs, but he prefers not to. Um, that's one song he does not like. <laughs> I'll say, can you sing me the ABCs? And he'll say, no, A, B, C, D. So, unfortunately, I might not have a really good video on him singing the ABCs, um, but I will get one advent eventually for all of you. Okay. Well, hold on. Take one letter. Yep. What letter is that? V. Yes. You want to put V in your box? V box. Okay. No V. No V? Okay. You want to pick another letter? Pick another. E. Good boy. You want to put E in your box? E box. Whoa. Here, how about this letter? K. K. You want to put K in your box? B box. B box. Okay. What letter is this? G. Good boy. G is for? Wow, 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 wow. 
Something I've worked on for a little while with Lennox is asking him common questions um, that he can provide answers to. So I've been doing this for quite a while now, but he's gotten really good at answering some of the common questions that I ask him. I'll ask him like, how old are you? And he'll say one. I'll say, when is your birthday? And he says, September for September. Um, I started asking him what planet he lives on and he says Earth. So just little things like that, just to get his mind going um, and thinking. And that way he just, you know, learns these, learns these things, um, such as like spelling his name and so on. I also not only ask him like what his name is, but I'll ask him what my name is or my husband's name, not just mommy or daddy, but our actual name. Um, so I just think it's good because he'll need to know these things later on. So why not start now? What planet do you live on? Earth. You live on Earth. Good boy. How old are you? Older. How old are you? Older. You want me to hold you? Older. Oh, don't break it. How old are you? One. You're one. When is your birthday? I did a previous video on teaching Lennox through songs. I'll link it down below. Um, a lot of this that I'm about to say ties in with um, singing to him and teaching him through song, also along with the language development that I spoke about earlier. So I started singing to him to count in Spanish. So I'll say like uno, dos, tres, and I'll sing it in a song. And he picked up on it. He can count one to ten in Spanish, um, which is really neat. And then as time goes on, I'll start familiarizing him with objects in Spanish. Um, I just wanted to like focus on one thing at a time so he doesn't get confused with English and Spanish, but it is one thing that we have gone over. Um, and he enjoys it. Sometimes I'll tell him to count and he'll just count in Spanish and not English. English, he can count 1 to 20. Spanish, he counts 1 to 10. No, mama. No, mama. But do, can you count to 10 in Spanish? <laughs> Good boy. The next milestone I want to talk about is his fine motor skills. He has recently really gotten into stacking boxes. I have the Melissa and Doug boxes. I'll show him like the first few and then he'll just take off from there. He'll stack like five of them at a time and he enjoys it. Um, before he used to just knock the tower over. Now he like doesn't want it knocked over. He wants all the blocks stacked nicely. So it's super cute. Um, the next thing is mega blocks. Another thing with fine motor is the stacking. He actually like has an idea of something he wants to create and then we move forward and create it. Um, just something simple such as like the rotor blade on a helicopter or a firework just because it just makes an X. Um, it's super simple and he makes it on his own. He really enjoys it and it's something fun and something that we've worked on as part of a milestone. Show me how you stack them. Okay, let me help you. Okay. Oh, hold on, Nagy. There. Keep going. Okay, stack them. <laughs> Can you count for me in Spanish? Can you count for me in Spanish? Uno, dos. Count for me in Spanish. <laughs> the next fine motor skill I want to talk about that Lennox has um, honed in on is using a spoon. Um, he's finally got that 
eye-hand coordination of scooping up something like soup and bringing it to his mouth. He still does drop some food off of it, um, but for the most part, he's got it down pat. Next is gross motor. Lennox is running so much. I can hardly keep up with him half the time. He just takes off and that's it. Um, so he's running, he's climbing, he's walking up and down steps. Um, it's just amazing. Like so many things clicked at 20 months old and it's like, here we are. Like, I can't believe he's doing all these things. Um, he also kicks a ball. He's been kicking a ball for quite some time now. He just grasped on grasped onto the idea fairly quickly um, and he's gotten pretty good at it. So we enjoy watching him kick, play soccer, ball, um, we're working on throwing a basketball in the basketball hoop right now, um, but he can throw as well. So those are just some other fun things that Lennox is currently doing. That's so good. You're a big helper. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. That way I make additional milestone videos down the road. Um, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you come along my journey more often. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.